Okay, so a moment ago I had said let's install the official theme, and it looks like if you try to click install, it, it's not there. That, that's pretty weird. Under extension, WooCommerce extension install, it seems not found. Not sure about what's going on there, but here's what we're trying to do. The official WooCommerce theme is called Storefront. So super creative. It's called Storefront. So what we want to do is get the Storefront theme. Uh, that means we'll go over to our appearance themes. Add new. And we'll search for the theme called Storefront. I'm not sure why that link is broken. Maybe because we're on WAMP. But it's a theme which we should be able to get in any other way, such as add theme. It's the one called Storefront. It's the one that should look like this. These are other, these are actually also other themes related. Uh, if you click to view details, you'll see this is from WooCommerce, from Woo Themes. Uh, vendor is from some other company, but these are optimized to also work with WordPress. So Shopaholic is from e-commerce themes, but to try it out we can use the storefront theme, click install and then activate it. So I installed it, I'll activate it. This one has like a little um, wizard here, design your store. You've set up WooCommerce, now it's time to give it some style. So I haven't seen this one recently. Let, let's see what it looks like. I'll, I'll click Let's Go. Okay, so I guess that basically goes over to the customizer. I'll click skip the tour. Uh, so this is just the, the customizer. After I've activated storefront, it will just be to customize. Uh, you can look at these later, choosing your layout and buttons and your typography. What's inside of your headers and footers and all of that. So for me, it's got these calendars that's left over from when I was using widgets. So this theme has four columns of footers, a sidebar below your header. I'm just kind of changing these up a little bit. Shop by category. So I just uh, made a little change. I'll click Publish, Save and Publish. This particular plugin, our theme under Appearance, now gets its own section here. This is also getting more common with themes. When you install especially premium themes, under Appearance, there will be a separate item that focuses on the advanced features of the theme. Uh, we've got Customize and such, but this one has Storefront settings in the Appearance. So alternate designs, extra things like a cart tab, product sharing, more extensions. <coughs> 
Now there's always what I would call a discovery phase. I'm kind of still browsing around and looking at it myself, uh, meaning we've activated this plugin, we've activated this theme. I haven't used this theme, uh, so I don't know what all its capabilities are, but this is that common phase. Uh, if for myself or a client, uh, we're working with a brand new plugin, a brand new theme, there's a discovery phase, discovering how does it work, what happens when I do this, I read the manual to do that. So I'm just kind of exploring here because this created a shop page for us. What does the shop page look like? There really isn't anything there. Products. Okay, we have placeholder products here. Interesting. So I'm not sure if those products came in from the theme or WooCommerce. Probably the theme. So I have a, we have all these products, belts and beanies and caps and all of that. So this is like a starting point. It gave us these 12 products. So we would need to, if you want to keep this theme, we then want to look at how it works. The home page looks nice with these categories and these thumbnails and such. We'll most likely have to go over to the categories screen and further set that up. So V-neck t-shirt, just to look at it, I'll edit it. The way it works in WordPress or WooCommerce, you've got a product, you've got a description as always, you've got categories, product categories, t-shirts. This one doesn't have tags. There's a product image. There's no gallery. Prices and such are in this field, in this box, differently from WP Commerce. WP Commerce on the right side, we had all of these uh, boxes for prices and such. Notice how it's here in WooCommerce. And the more complication is we can have simple products and other kinds of more advanced products. We can do things such as, if you buy uh, this product, you must also buy this product. We can bundle products together so that if you buy one, it tells you, don't forget to buy this one too. That comes from buying the, or setting up these other kinds of products. Group products, variable products, those are like the variations. T-shirt, large, medium, small. External and affiliate, well, that one is setting up links to external affiliate sources. So you have, again, more things, more types of products to create. Keeping it on simple shows here regular price, sale price is a taxable, what's the tax class? In WP Commerce, that was the tax band. I created a bundle of taxes to apply to this product. Here it's a tax class. Virtual and downloadable. Downloadable products give access to a file once you purchase it and virtual products are intangible and aren't shipped. So I guess this would be for items like uh, services. I'm going to buy uh, someone to be a public speaker at my organization. I guess you would set it as virtual product. Inventory, there's your SKU. Do you want to manage the stock? How many of them exist? Can you do back orders? Got a set of shipping linked products. Here we have upsells and cross sells. So, again, always check these little question marks for a little bit of info and check the help per screen. Upsells are products which you recommend instead of the current product. For example, products that are more profitable or better quality or more expensive. So, someone's about to buy. Uh, a, a dozen cookies for five dollars and upselling could be hey why not buy instead 13 cookies for just four dollars more that's upselling and cross-selling is uh, along the same sort of um, price range uh, products that are promoted on the same sort of level of price 
we can do some pretty advanced attributes. I wouldn't quite worry about that. These attributes are pretty advanced to do even more powerful customization. And there's advanced. Enter an optional note to send the customer after purchase. That's pretty cool. So they buy something and then they get, a, they get an email in addition to the regular receipt. Here's a common question people always ask. People are leaving reviews of my products and I don't want that. This is hidden under the advanced tab of the product, turn off reviews. Short description, reviews. It's going to ask us to set up shipping zones and all of that. We're getting close to the end of the day, so what I want to do is we've got the WooCommerce version of the site. There's still more to look at. I want to do a backup of the site. And when we come back next week, um, I think we still have two more days, right? The next Tuesday and Thursday. We have two more days. So we'll look at WooCommerce a little more. <clears throat> we'll then start to look at migrating this to a real server. We'll touch a little bit, maybe, uh, as time goes on, about marketing. And then we're getting to the end of the class next week. So do the usual. Go to the duplicator and make a backup. So you want to make a backup of the site as usual. Copy that, and I'm going to save it to the folder. And this will be a different folder with a different name because it's a different site.